Guys, welcome to another Q&A, baby. What is your favorite video you've ever made? Oh, that, that's a good question, actually. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Fav if I had to go go back and watch one of my videos, it would probably be the light speed one. You know, the one where I travel light speed with Chief and Wookie. I think to this day, that's still my best recording of, or at least the most fun I've ever, ever had recording a video. It's just every day, me, Wookie, and Chief will just log on early hours and just grind out the entire day and it was so it was so weird because we had no elytra as well so it was just it was a whole new different way of playing minecraft and uh, it was also my first video trying to do a lot more live commentary rather than doing the shorter videos and more like voiceover so that was a uh, that was actually really fun to try and uh, tackle but i think it turned out quite well so um i'd probably say that one will you ever make another group channel with your friends so Actually, I kind of, I kind of already do, already do at the, sort of. I have a channel, a group channel, with me, Chief, and Branzi. I'm not gonna say the niche of it. I'm not gonna say the name of it. However, there is a channel that we all uh, work on. However, you guys have got to go and find it. The hell. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, have have fun trying to find that channel. Uh, I don't think we've ever promoted it properly, but th there are videos out there of. Um, a secret channel of ours, so uh, have fun, fun trying to find that. Uh, do you plan on becoming the strongest player on the server? W what, what do you think? Have you seen me? Have you seen my PvP skills? I can barely t kill a chicken. Do you lift? No, I mean, I, I mean, like, I don't know. It's like it's a whole thing, like with gym and stuff like that. Sometimes I'm really consistent. Like for two weeks, I'm like going every day meals. Like you know, it, it's it's all good. And then out of nowhere, I get like a big project on YouTube, and I focus all on that, and then it don't go for like two or three months straight. So I, I want to try and get more consistent with it. it it's hard. Well, it's it. Wait, of course, it's hard for everyone, but uh, I'm just not a very consistent person with anything so i want to try and work on that have you ever had a channel before your current one uh i actually have it was it was actually called miles and it was a minecraft channel i had it when i was like 11 like in my last q a so i keep saying like I, I, that's one thing i need to stop doing I, I, I watched my last video back when ed's ting and i keep saying you know and i keep saying like and it got on my nerves so much i, I don't know how you guys watch me but I'm, I'm going to try to make a conscious effort to not say like and you know as much. Uh, if I do, uh, you have permission to uh, punch me. Uh, back to the question though. What was the question? Oh yeah, have I ever had a channel before, before my current one? So my old one I made when I was like 11 or 12 years old. And because YouTube makes us you need to be 13, I put it in my mum's uh, like age. And then one day I thought, oh hang on, why can't I just change it to my age? So I had like seven subscribers, I changed the, the age to my actual age when I was 12 years old and the channel got banned because I'm not old enough to have a YouTube channel and then ever since then, I lost it. It was quite a sad uh, day, uh, but without that happening, I wouldn't have the channel I'd, had, I'd have today. Yeah, next question. Can I make fan art for you? Yes, please do. I love fan art so much. Well, I, I like it a little bit, but no, I'm, jo I'm joking. I love fan art. I, I love seeing on Twitter, or the Discord server, if you, if you want to go and uh, send me fan art. Probably the best place to do it is on the Outcast Discord server. Okay, it's all in one place. I check it like once a week, once a on uh, yeah, once a week, once a month. It's a good feeling seeing all this fan art of you. I don't know how you guys do it to be honest. I'm I've tried drawing so many times. I've bought a whole like drawing tablet to try and get better at it, but it's so hard. Like, how do you draw circles? I've tried to get better drawing circles, and it's, it it doesn't go well ever. So uh, I think I stopped. Do you like snow? That's a weird question. Um, actually. My favourite weather is snow and rain. I, I, I like the sun, but something just about being inside when it's raining outside or thundering outside it just feels, feels cosy, you know? Uh, I said to Yona, you know again! Oh, I need to stop saying that! Okay, so the next question, there's actually three in one, so I'm gonna go and go through all of them because I think a lot of people want to try and be YouTubers, so uh, I'm going to go through every single one of them. So I think it should be beneficial for someone out there. Uh, what music do you use and could you put it into a playlist for us to use? No, it's my it's my music. <laughs> Go away. I'm kidding, but I do use Epidemic and Artlist for my uh, song choice. I think it's just great. It's all in one place. It's got a good search engine. Well, Epidemic does, but um, yeah, it, it's really easy to find songs on there. And I think most, even Mr. Beast kind of YouTubers use that, use those kind of songs. So if you want to find music that aren't copyright, uh, use Epidemic. That, that, that's my recommendation for you. Could you bring us through your editing process? So first thing I do, ideation, looking through YouTube, seeing what's doing well, 
and then I think, okay, what what can I do in on a week's time? I think I I I like to give myself a week max to record a video. Otherwise, the project has just become too big. So I do that. After the ideation, thumbnail. Always do a thumbnail because realistically, if there's not a good thumbnail for the video you want to make, then people aren't going to click on it. Pretty much. My advice is ideation, thumbnail, and then record it. After that is the editing process. I like to do all the audio stuff first uh, because I feel like if, I've, if I can enjoy one of my videos without any visuals and only audio, it will be really good when I add visuals in. So I like to do basic structure, then I do voiceovers with the structure and do the music as, as well. Then I'd go into sound effects and then if that's all good and I'm engaged while just doing that, I have like different like layers. So then I move on to actual gameplay footage and then I move on to any like re-recording stuff because like if I have a clip in the I want to put in the video which I didn't record I'll go and re-record it on a, like my test server just to make it easier for myself so then I put all that in and then finally replay shots because that's a, a complete a complete pain to do I feel like it's like the final thing so it I don't need to spend too much time on it and I guess also VFX comes with replay shots but yeah and then actually no final thing uh face cam shots like this I'd, I'd do all those in one go at the end because it takes like half an hour to do all that and it's way easier doing all, all in one go than doing that as you go through the video. That That's how I do my editing process and then I guess after that upload. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Have you ever had to script a moment to help the flow of your video? So, okay. I'm gonna be real. There was one bit in one of my in my light speed video I had to sort of script out to an extent. If you watch Chief's video, you'd understand that whole like final day was just a complete mess. Everyone was arguing that everyone was like didn't know what was going on because at one point Tazo had the flag and there were two flags. At one point there was a whole fake flag and we thought we had the real flag. And I thought that's gonna be so confusing for the end because my whole video was literally just to test out if these things would even work. So I thought, okay, would me put in this argument and everything help the end of the video? No, it wouldn't. So I want to cut that out and almost frame it as we're, we're here for one thing. We're here, we've got the flag. We're here to go and test out if these uh, traversal methods actually work. And they did, sort of. Uh, it worked for me, Chief and Wookie uh, lost, but I, I made it to the end. So that, I feel like going, looking back, I probably would have done it a bit differently. I would have tried to make it a little bit less scripted, but it was also like four in the morning. I had to get the video up at like seven uh, the day after because of the Outcast server were launching that day. So I thought, okay, this this will do. I just have to <laughs> have to get it out. Will you join another Minecraft server? The way I think of Minecraft servers, it's more the people than the actual server. I don't think I'd ever want to join Live Steel, not because of the server. It's more just the people. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with those with those guys. If I was to join another server, it would be the ones with like people like on their Wenzo or Wookie or Chief or, uh, or Gutty. I thought the people like that would be the ones I'd want to be in a server on in the future because they're just like, like my, the people I've called the best. Probably. I don't know. It, it's it's. I we thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> what is your process to making videos and what is your motivation? Also, please, what do you edit with? Uh, I already went through the process. Uh, what do I edit with? Um, I use Premiere Pro and I use Photoshop. Well, I use Premiere Pro for videos, After Effects, sometimes for like the, uh, the counters, like the tickers that go up. And I use Photoshop for thumbnails. I'm, I'm a big old Adobe guy. Uh, what is my motivation though? I feel like uh, money is my motivation. Um, wait, no, it kind of is, but it's also like, I feel like, what, what, it, it, it depends on what a video is. If I'm like really motivated about a video idea and I'm having a lot of fun doing it, I'm gonna be a lot more motivated to edit that video. What, what does motivate me though? I don't, I don't, I know we thought about that in, in the past. I feel like seeing other people succeed makes you think, okay, I want, I want to be like them. It's not, it's not even like a jealousy thing. It's more so it's like, okay, these guys are doing well. I've got, I've got to catch up. That, I feel like that's what motivates. It's almost like YouTube's a game, in my opinion. You've probably seen people talk about this a lot, but it's a marathon. That, that's a better way of explaining it. It's a marathon. It's it, People can get short views pretty easily, but how do you get the uh, views on every single video consistently for years to come? Uh, that, that's the way I think about YouTube, and that's I think that, that's what motivates me. So, like, how can I plan out my goals for the year, things like that? I feel like I'm just waffling now. I don't know what I'm on about. Um, <laughs> does that help? I think it does. I haven't really thought about motivation too much, so it's, I'm more just like... Um, word vomiting right now. Will there be another HKT poster? I don't know about a poster. We have, we are looking at plushies, maybe. I, I'm, I don't, don't hold, don't hold me on that because we I mean like, uh, it's, it's right now we're trying to, so we've set our goals for ourselves. We've said, Wookie, you've got to hit 100k, I've got to hit 500k and she's got to hit 500k. 
That's the goal. And when we all hit that, we said, okay, that's when we'll do our next merch drop. If you guys want to see us doing more merch, then you better subscribe. <laughs> I, I, I do want to do more posters. I don't know if it'll be HKT posters, but I love the idea of like having all of these posters up in my, like three or four posters up in my room and like i'll be like proud of them. like oh like, that's i did that i, don't, I think i think it'd just be quite a cool thing to have so i do think more posters soon not 100 percent it will be hkt posters though but possibly there will be other merch to do with hkt in the future uh how do you get the courage and time to make these big minecraft projects uh i think it's honestly just things that i'm interested in if i, I i've tried doing like my whole underwater city video I've tried doing videos like that. Well, no, I know that that video specifically. I did not feel motivated at all to do that. I just thought, okay, big video. It sounds like a cool idea. I'm not that interested in it, but I'm sure it will get views. Turns out, didn't get views, and I that was probably my worst recording or video I've done in a, in a long time. Going back to your question, I think it's it's probably just best thing. Like, what what do you enjoy the most? It, like, it feels like the, like the worst advice. I think every YouTuber says this, like, I'd like to just do what you enjoy, but it really is, it really does just come down to do what you actually want to do. I always think, you can, you can always tell when someone's actually motivated to do a video or there's, or there's always, like, passion behind it, and usually the passion motivation comes from doing stuff you enjoy. That That's my advice for doing big projects. Like, the whole, like, like ocean thing I want to drain, that's still one of my biggest videos. I really just wanted to just prank Chief. I really wanted to see his reaction to um, me draining his entire... Uh, ocean because he is just he's so over the top with his reaction so i thought okay how do we react to that top of that i kind of thought it'd be fun to do that i want to see what it looks like as well it looked really ugly but it was, it was still quite cool to look at final question what is the best video you've ever made okay this is gonna be a weird answer i think my worst videos are my best videos uh, hit, hit me out. I've talked to a lot of people about this. One person, Wenzo, about like how like you bet you better videos. He says his best video. Well, the, the video he's like he learned the most from is one of his like stinker videos, and that got me thinking. A lot of my worst videos, I learn the best. I learn the most from. So, for example, my underwater city one. That was one of my worst videos I've ever, ever made. I did not enjoy. It. I didn't even put it in the new, the new movie because I just thought it was a complete disgrace. Disgrace. I remember after that video, I thought, okay, how much can I learn from this? So I almost completely flipped the script. Let's make the light speed video. Let's go all out. Make a completely new style. Since then, it, it's it's got like over a million views, and the ones afterwards have done really well as well. Um, uh, same goes to, like my biome one at the time that only had 30k 30k views it's picked up again now but at that point i thought okay this is this is not working let's try and improve on this and i learned a lot from that video and after that one i came out with the flood in the nether video which has got like six million views uh, it's it, I'm, not, I'm not trying to brag or anything it's more so it's there's always a pattern when you get a stinker video and you learn from it you come back even stronger so i would say my best videos are the worst ones because they're the ones i've learned the most from if the, if you if you only make good video, videos, I feel like you're not gonna learn as much from them as you would from the bad videos. Okay, so if you have any more questions, comment them down below. I won't do more of these Q and A's. I think they're really fun to do. I'll set a little challenge for myself for the next thirty days. I'm gonna do daily second channel videos. So for that, I'm gonna need a lot of questions. I really want to get better at talking to the camera because I want to do more live commentary in my videos. So I think doing these videos every single day for thirty days would really help with that. So if you have any questions, anything. Put them in the comments and I will respond to them, probably. Maybe not, but I mean, do, do it anyway. It's like the better the question, the better for the video. Uh, and final thing, are you subscribed? Probably not, because it's second channel. You better subscribe, Kevin. I'll see you. Uh, yeah, bye.